Well, student athletes have had it rough. Spring sports were canceled. Now this fall, football and volleyball has now been canceled or at least pushed back to the spring anyways. But 12 News reporter Kate Wall shows us how some sports like tennis are still playing. In a few days, these tennis courts will be fixed up. The nets will be rolled back out and they'll be put to good use this fall because the Mount Hope High School girls tennis team just found out they will have a season. While it's an abbreviated one, they're just excited they'll be able to do what they love. If there ever were a socially distant sport, it's tennis. The athletes are well over six feet apart. The only contact they have with each other is through a ball, which is hit by a racket. Uh, we have to eliminate a few things like handshakes and different things like that, but for the most part, the normalcy is just like it would be in the years past. Jeff Keegan is the coach of the Division II reigning champion tennis team at Mount Hope High School in Bristol. This year, they still have their eye on the prize, but the perspective has shifted. And this year, we have, I think, up to like something like 18 or something. A lot of seniors this year. The senior captains say tennis is more than just a sport. It helps build friendships, and they're sad for seniors in contact sports like football or indoor sports like volleyball that had to be canceled for the fall. Because This is not how anyone expected their senior year to go, and the sports that they love, this is their final year to maybe even play the sport if they're not playing it in college. For this story, we asked the captains to show us briefly some of their <laughs> skills, but the state won't let them hold any official practices or even hold tryouts until September 21st, about a month later than usual. Just like any year, you know, they would be out on their own practicing. Meanwhile, Coach Keegan is studying the new guidelines from the state. We've even talked about potentially using uh, multiple cans of tennis balls, so they're not even sharing those. The team said while they are starting to plan for the first day of tryouts and practices in a couple of weeks, they are still waiting to get more guidance from the Rhode Island Interscholastic League on how exactly it'll all play out. In Bristol, I'm Kate Walsh, 12 News.